Hey, what's up, everyone? Peace, light, abundance, manifestations, and gratitude. We're here right now. You're with KIP, and you're tuning to Smarter by Nature TV. So today, we're going to check out a friend of a friend. Those are always the best. You never know who knows someone, and you never know what someone knows. So we're in Quincy today, and we're going to check out someone who owns um, a small-scale rabbit production in his backyard. So I found out about this guy from my friend Vermont. Uh, he's my martial arts brother, my yoga brother. I wanted to check it out. And I said, what better thing to do than to take y'all with me? So we're going to check it out and we're going to see today what he's got going on. Let's go. All right, everyone. So we're at my brother Vermont's spot right now in Quincy. So Vermont, what we got going on today? Today, uh, we're at my neighbor's house. He kind of one who put me onto uh, outdoor farming and dealing with animals. And he is a big, he makes his own fertilizer. So I guess that's what we're gonna be talking about, rabbit fertilizer. So nice. that's why we're here today to nice. talk about rabbit fertilizer and the use of rabbits in garden. Awesome, there y'all go. So um, this is his watermelon patch. And this thing is jumping, y'all. Y'all check this out. You can see how the leaves are covering. And it's not only leaves now, he got the flowers and fruit popping. Oh, these right here. Right. So, so all of these you feed them with the rabbit fertilizer? Yeah, the what rabbit fertilizer. And I put a little, little, little bit of extra fertilizer on them. Like I said, I got in the bucket soaking and stuff and I don't use that and I went ahead and uh, used much of that guy that cuff. You don't put a top on it for mosquitoes and I don't want to raise no mosquitoes. Right. Yeah. How often like would you fertilize it? Like how often would you suggest? But right now I ain't gonna do no more fertilizer. All I'm gonna do is just water. Okay, okay. Just keep, and hope it rain like the last cup. See how it been raining? Mm -hmm. yeah. All that been hipping out good. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All that been hipping. It's a lot of them in here like that there. Yeah. And you could tell a different style of watermelon. See, different from that one. Yeah. And boy, like, like that one got bigger since last night. This yesterday. is different That's from crazy. cantaloupe, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. The cantaloupe is over there, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we're trying to get these rabbits and put them from one cage to the next. These baby rabbits, and they're pretty fast, but you just got to get them, y'all. I'm the camera guy. <laughs> you got to be aggressive. Get it. You got to go in there and grab them. All right. Ain't none of them going to bother you, though. All right. Ain't none of them going to bother you, though. All right. Here we go. I'm sorry. Okay. Hey, water. 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 <laughs> Grab the little. Grab them okay. and put them close to you. It's keep them from running. Put them close to you. Put them close to you. You gotta color them. Oh. Hold them. There you go. Oh. The ones I got. Oh. Okay. Catch one of them and grab the catch and he'll scream like all the way. What? All right. All right. After the first one, you're a pro. What? You got two of them. These ready to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let Jeremy go do the grabbing. Nice. What? I know. I know. What? You can't bring them over here. Wow. They coming over here. Actually. Oh, so you trying to hurt them? Nah, you good. They gonna jump out. Okay. Revive. Why are you ready for the action? He's talking about you got to catch them if you let them in the ground. You ready, man? Damn. You ready, man? You ready, man? You ready, man? You ready, man? There's two of them. Oh, okay. They got it when they were real small, and I caught one of them, put it back in the cage, and he wouldn't eat. And he Yo, stayed so. away from the rest of them in the corner. I just put it back down. The other one I never did catch. I caught one of them in a trap, and he and he, uh and I put him in the cage, and he wouldn't act right. So I put him uh what's it called? Oh, I've been getting five eggs a day since I uh, got the first. What? That's his name. <laughs> Pitbull. Uh, he's got longer spurs here, but he won't bother you though. Yeah. I named that one from a little bitty, you know. Yeah. He's real protected. 
Yeah, go ride in circles and she'll jump out. What you feeding them? Up in the gym, just regular food. Oh, nice, some apples. Yeah. Nice. I get that oh, they eating the good stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, most people like to get them for the kids, like that. There you go. Um, the little albino rabbit. Yeah. yeah. No, I'll put it back up because I got to go cut enough apples. You want to piece out? So, this the rooster? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. This the... Yep. That's our big boy yep. right there. They just feel like where well, all these people come from. So you trying to be all I can, you want me back to the uh, <laughs> Everyone that down there, you have one to scream. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> and fluffy. Dang. I'm going to show you how I do it with her. I'm going to show you how I do it with her. I'm going to show you how I do it with her. What? You got to catch some things. All right, y'all, enjoy y'all home. I'm going to go get it right now. How you learn how to do this? That's just something I picked up as a kid. You were coming up and then seeing people when I was coming up. Well, coming from Orlando, I was in my Springs house. Yeah. And uh, seeing uh, uh, the old man doing it, and it's something I just picked up as yeah. a kid. And, and now I got older now I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? Wow, man. I grew up see him doing a lot of my granddad grew up had chicken. Yeah. Out of, out in the country we did chicken. Damn. And see, he got to the point where he ain't, you know he didn't want to deal with him. Right, right, right. But for the, like right now, for the most part. I got part. some people I help out with their homes and I ain't took none yet and all things some of the people. But where everything ain't going up, I'm gonna get the three pigs and my brother and my, uh, my nephew gonna come get them and take them back to Orlando. Yeah, I think if they've been in here for years. All this right here on the head and on any of the cages is just straight rabbit soil and it just breaks down over time, which makes right, it right. better because now microbes is in it. Right. And it's like same thing on the all the cages. Okay. It just poop and it falls down and that's what we get. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's where you get. That's all. That's that's where you, that's oh, I had all. Uh, it breaks down. I had uh, these blocked off for trying to get a bait bed too, but by me letting chicken die, I ain't gonna do it. I just get the fertilizer because the chicken was getting there every time. But all this fertilized dirt. Every okay. one of the cages got fertilized dirt. And that right there finna get more now. I ain't meant to. Brian, what, uh, uh, brother, where you got your, your, your uh, got So like, what is the bare minimum that you need if you, not if you want to go breeding, but if you want to like take care of a family of rabbits? Just get you a doe. Just like I said, that doe right there, I'm um, breeding that doe there. If the guy come back and get it, I'll probably mm -hmm. offer him, you know, uh, Give them a certain price on it, but she always she gonna have a baby mm -hmm. once she get bred, mm -hmm. and I tell them when the time come and everything and stuff like that. Because the first time she had them in my toilet, she they didn't make it, but yeah. this time she ought to be all right with it. She can't know. can't anybody do this in their backyard? Or yeah, like... yeah, just got to have shade though and learn how how to work with the sun. Cause how the sun is now, yeah, it'll come all the way around. Right, that's why I get the best on the guard. Ah, uh... so when the sun come up. It's coming up from this way, and then yeah. all of a sudden it'll swing around and come around this way. Right, 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 right. So you got to make sure they have... sun is the best sun. Right. You know? Right. So you got to make sure they have, like, a decent amount yeah, of shade, yeah, pretty decent, much. Yeah, a really decent amount of shade. Yeah. You know? One of the time you don't have to worry about them, because they'll stay warm themselves, because that's right. where they live. Right. You know, but it's just when it get hot, you know how it yeah. get hot in Florida. You know? Right. And so can you have a space smaller than this, or, like... Is this the ideal space? Um, this the for? ideal space for me, okay. cause you know and stuff. I'm not trying to get a whole bunch like I had before. Cause when I was over there, yeah. I had too many, uh, you know, and stuff like that. Then yeah. I noticed I said, oh, you know how the sun come around. But I had blocked this out for the sun, but still, okay. though, I just had too many, cause they were more closed in, True. more better and everything and stuff like that. But yeah. right now, I think I'm in the ideal space, cause I sit out here. Don't even go now as long as I got the phone and some water, something to drink. Nice. I sat here all day. Nice. And this, you know. That's what's up. But if you want to raise some, you want to get them where you can have them in the shade. Though. Right. You know what I'm saying? The hell where, you know, just like I got like this. Yeah. Thing. Now, when it's wintertime come, this one won't bear nothing. Right, right, right. But right, you all right. seen it, what? Last month, month, the boy had so many mulberries on. They were so big. Right, That's right. That's a mulberry tree. Nice. And right. boy, it was full of mulberries. They was everywhere and stuff. And, Nice. You know, and stuff like that. Do the like, rabbits ever get, get any of it? or? The yeah, I take them and I yeah. take the leaves and just pull them just like this here and just put them in the cage with them. You know, and they'll eat them just the way it is. They like the, the green leaves of it. Okay. You know, let me see if she get it though, because all they'll put food in there. 
Yeah, she getting it. They like them there. Yeah. Okay. I'm just taking a break. Pull some of these. Then he go try it again. So you take the soil uh -huh. and you put it in water. I put my soil in water for uh -huh. soak it soak all up. Yeah. And then I take it in uh once I start growing and like so where when I got ready to plant, well, like I say where 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 the stump set in the water mountain, mm -hmm. I dug a hole and stuff, a little small hole, and I put my seed, but you don't put your seed but so far in the ground. Right. You know, and stuff like that. And once they start coming up, I had already made the stuff up and all I do is walk around. But right now you see I can't walk through it. Right, right. Do like that and do like that. Right. Is, every so many days, every uh, uh four days probably. Okay, okay. You know, and stuff like that. And that was happening. That was helping give them the boost and everything. Nice. And nice. once they get up, now they up, now right now all I gotta do is water and I yeah. can't even pull the weeds out. Right, right, right. You know, but I got all the weeds I could get out. Right, right. You, know? you cleaned it for the most part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they they able to do like the rest. The is, yeah. You know? How long it take to make something like this? Well, like a it space. Takes over the time years and stuff like that. Thing, yeah. You know? But this was all favorite came. Mike, I didn't want to take it down because I had younger chickens. I like for them to get up on it. Uh, you know? And I break a little bit off every now. If I see you don't want to cut it out. Yeah. You know? Back here. Yeah. Hold on, let me see. Uh, so, do the rabbits ever get sick? Like, are there are there certain things well, that you gotta watch out for? Well, I don't have some of them that had, uh, I don't know what it called and stuff like that there, but I think why I had, uh, got some from somewhere else. Somebody mm -hmm. had gave them to me, I said, I never take it no more, I raised my own. Mm -hmm. and stuff on had, some of them had the little, little stuff in the face. I don't okay, know what okay. It called, some kind of little parasite or what. Yeah, yeah. And once I got rid of them, I said, I never do that again. I keep what I got in the back. Uh, yeah, you know so, as long as you take good care of them, yeah, pretty yeah, much, they, they're pretty I good. Keep, they, I, see, I feed them every day. Yeah. They change their water and everything. Right, 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 right. Now, she's been going in and uh, lay, uh, lay her head. Uh -huh. What made you get started in this at all? Like, what made you even want to do this? Being a kid and seeing other people do stuff and then. I won't got older now and stuff, and it's a hobby for me to do a relax your mind, man. Yeah. That's all it is. That's what's up, that's what's up, man. Well, that's a, just, just to be a kid and relax your mind, and there's something you like to do. And it's, that's all it is, you know? Wow, this is beautiful, man. You know? And I, like I said, I got like 15 people, maybe 15 to 20 people, I, they know about it and everything. I said, if you just get one from me, buy one from me, I'd be happy. I just like to do it. Right, know? right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. You're not trying to, no, you, you don't push it crazy. My daddy got some man already talking about, well, you get uh, 300, I'll come buy them all, take them back to all and I'm looking at him like, <laughs> you know. Yeah, 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 <laughs> that's know, a lot. Time, you know, that's over here in the corner. Get over there on that side, over here in the shelf. I want to keep all right, y'all, so we back at the farm. Wow, that was amazing. It was so cool to see someone doing it in their backyard, pretty much, with creating their own environment for the rabbits, for the animals, and uh, growing the watermelon with the plants and the chickens. I thought that was pretty cool, and it's good to see that you can do it with little to no input. Pretty much, he was using sticks, trees and branches, and uh, pieces of metal and things that he found. He was upcycling it and using that to create a habitat for the rabbits, and that's what we like to see on our path towards a regenerative sustainable future is we like to see the upcycling of materials and the repurposing of things for greater causes y'all so thank y'all for rocking with us we got a lot more dope content on the way make sure y'all stay tuned and thank you for being smarter by nature